Good morning everyone, Rich Demidio here. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to create log entries. Now I am going to assume prior knowledge here, so if you already have experience with Sky Safari or you've looked at the prior videos, then you should be good to go. So I'm, I've already gone ahead and configured everything so including my observing list so i'm going to go back to that observing list which happens to be for messier marathon and i'm thinking about m13 right now so i'm gonna scroll down for that or you notice here if you're struggling a little bit you could just type it in but there it is so First thing I want to do is go ahead and center the object so I can see it in my field of view. And the observations are based on selections. So if you go to the selection pull down, you will see lots of options. Recall the object info is the uh, you know common one we use. But if you look at the bottom here, there's show observations and create new observations. So I'm going to click on show observations because I wanted to show you that there's a whole audit trail history here. So these are all the observations I've done. If I pick one at random here, it'll bring up all the details, which we'll go through more in a minute. So what I'm going to do is let's pretend I'm going to create a new observation. So go back to that selection, create new observation, and notice that there's several things here. The first thing there is session, which we haven't talked about yet. I'm going to explain that in, in the next video, but think of a session just as a bucket for you to record objects that you've observed during some specific instance, say a, you know, a session in the evening for a couple hours. You'll notice observing list that's already pre-filled because we've selected our messy marathon observing list. Some of these other parameters. I typically don't fill in much, mainly sky quality, because I don't have a tool to check for the sky quality. So I typically log things like transparency and scene within the comment section. Um, notice on the bottom here, we want to choose our equipment. So I'm going to take my Star Master Classic. And by the way, once you set this up, it's going to remember these for subsequent observations. So I am using say my Star Master O Classic with my 17 millimeter ethos if I have Barlow's or if I'm using binoculars, finder scopes, you can see you've got other things to put in. And then the comments, and this is actually the, the fun part. When I'm observing in the field, I typically click the, the microphone icon here and, and do voice dictation. I have found that it's fairly good, but perhaps it's my uh, upstate New York accent that it has trouble recognizing uh, some words from time to time. It can be quite comical some of the things it comes up with. So if you do use voice, voice dictation, uh, speak slow, try to be clear, um, and then you're going to go back at some point and, and refine those. I'm, again, I'm going to save that for another session. So um, you could also type in stuff here as well as you can see and then you know once you're done you get out of that done done typing mode you're back to um, everything here and then click done and it will now appear in fact if we go back to show observations you'll see you know January 29th uh, the one we just created here so the log entries are are pretty easy to do um, it's also worth noting if you're, you know, say you're in the middle of an observation, let's say that you happen to be within object info as well. You know, there's many places to get to the observations. Here I clicked on the little three ellipses uh, where we have the same options for show observation, create new observation, plus a, a few other things. So um, creating op um, observation, you know, this, this is your log essentially. So. This is what I like to do for uh, capturing my log entries. Um, in the next video, we're going to kind of like put everything together that we've gone through uh, today to, re to represent an observation session. That's it for now. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.